What's up guys, Max Schaefer from Capital Hoops here. And welcome back to the second episode of Max's Montgomery County Corner. I'm here with my second guest, Quince Orchard and Fame Elite Guard, Alex Parasota. What's up, Alex? Thanks for coming on today. Brandy. What's up? Thank you for having me. So we're gonna start with these these same four questions that I'm gonna ask everybody. The first one is being, who is the most talented player that you've ever shared the, a court with? It can be a AAU teammate, someone you played against in AAU, someone you played with pickup, anything. Uh, I would say the toughest player I played against like high school is probably Elijah Wood. He doesn't he doesn't go here anymore. I think he went to BCC. Okay, okay. So uh, my second one that I'm gonna be talking to everybody about is what DMV player that's out of high school now that but used to go to the DMV or live in the DMV when he was in high school, would you most want to like play a game one on one with or just hang out with and talk to? Anyone from the DMV? Yeah, anybody. Probably like Kevin Durant. Probably the best player to come out of DMV. Fair, yeah. I respect it, I respect it. So the third one that I'm gonna be talking to everybody about is which rapper in Montgomery County right now do you think is the best that's in high school? So which high school Montgomery County rapper right now is your favorite? Jeez, oh, I don't, I don't really listen to Montgomery County rappers. Like that. <laughs> I listen to Little Baby. Yeah, I listen to Little Baby. No one from Oko though. No one at QO. Not really. QO's got some good rappers, but I just, I don't listen to them. Okay, okay, respect. And uh, the fourth one that I'm gonna be at, talking to everyone about is um, which player that lives in Montgomery County right now but goes to a private high school. So like, it could be Jordan Hawkins from Gaithersburg who goes to the math of that type of player. Do you think is the most talented? Oh yeah, uh, definitely Jordan. I used to play with him a lot. Yeah, he's he's good. Yeah, that's what, that's what Dada said as well. So Jordan's getting a lot of high praise from, from Montgomery County <laughs> guys. Another thing I just want to hear is uh, what's it been like for you in quarantine and what are you trying to do to stay in shape and stay ready for a season? Obviously there's no AAU, so just yeah, I mean, what's your it, what's it been like? It sucks, but uh, just still going to outdoor courts, playing pickup and then I know gyms just opened up yesterday, so I'll be able to go down and get in shape. For sure. Uh, and one thing I wanted to talk to you specifically about, uh, watching you at QO this year, an aspect of your game that really shines is your ability to shoot three and shoot from mid-range. Is there a, a one player that you kind of model your jump shot after or take a lot of your jump shot from? I don't really think I, I model it after anybody, just working constant hours on, on my jump shot and my pull up. For sure. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you about, obviously, QO, not, maybe not the season you guys wanted this year, didn't, didn't make it in the playoffs. Uh, what are you going to do next year, stepping up as one of the seniors on the team to try to really make the improvement and make a run? Yeah, I mean, last year didn't, we didn't finish like we wanted, but like it was a learning year because we were all juniors. So just keep building our chemistry, and then I know I have to step up as a leader and Try to you know, get us further this year. A new segment that we're introducing here to Max's Montgomery County Corner is going to be the versus segment. So I talked to you about a player that, that you wanted to go against in the county for this, and you said John Harris from Northwest. So I want to know between you and John, who has the better shoe game on court and off court? All right, he, he's got that one on me. Okay. He's probably got the better shoe game. Who's getting a higher SAT score this year? Definitely me. Definitely you? 100%. And my last one is, who's going to be able to throw a football further between you two? Oh, definitely me. I was a quarterback back in the day. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right. All right. I respect. So you're taking two out of three on him? Yep. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, so another thing I wanted to hear you talk about is, uh, obviously, QO, big football school. You guys have a really good football team. Mm -hmm. Does that put any added pressure on the basketball program, you guys think, to live up to, uh, to people's expectations of, of, you know, the football team winning rings? And everything like that I mean a little bit like obviously we compete with them a little because you know they're so good they get so many fans so we want basketball to be like that but I mean it's, it's hard to compete with them and talk to me about uh the recruiting process for you being in Montgomery County do you feel like you get it's harder for you to get recognized playing at QO or you get most of your offers from AU what's it what's it been like for you um I mean Moco it's kind of it's kind of hard to get offers outside of the DMV and just that exposure. So AAU is definitely important, but hopefully just keep playing my game and the right people will come to me. 
for sure. All right, man, this has been the second episode of Maxim of Emory County Corner with you, Quince Orchard, guard Alex Parasoto. Thanks so much for coming on, Alex. Is there anything else you want to add? Nope, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>